You know, you are at that sort of scarcity mindset versus yeah. abundance mindset. And so um, maybe you could speak to that, that concept of someone that is at that lower point in making that transition to an abundance mindset. You're not in a great bargaining position if you have to pay rent and you're starving, right? Yes. So that means now all conversation about money because what the emotional part, uh, Gab Gabrielle described this as remaining passionately detached. Like you're passionate about getting the job, but you're detached from the outcome. And I thought that was a really good term. And that's how I've always run it. So unfortunately, what happens is if you are in that position where you've got bills mounting and you got things to do, it puts you in a horrible negotiation position. It really does. And that's by design, unfortunately. So when I'm st when I started out, I worked from home in our loft. When our expenses were so low, I could say no. Or if I didn't get the bid, I wasn't going to go and and get into the fetal position in the corner. So I want to ask you guys this is those of you guys that are starting out, don't worry about having an, a shiny office space and expenses so that you look good and you look impressive. Don't buy that expensive car. Who cares? We worked out of our house for years and did multi-million dollar jobs. And literally clients came by from these large agencies like Shy Day. They came into my living room downstairs and we would talk. I didn't care. It made some of my people uncomfortable, but I was like, you know what? Did they come here for the work and to talk to us or not? So I don't care if we're working out of a cardboard box. So you got to keep your expenses low, live like a startup, do everything bootstrap so that you can walk away from these things because it puts you into that mindset where you have to close a job. And so when the client says 85 and you're thinking 105, you're going to take it. You're going to take it and they're going to smell the desperation. You're going to start selling really hard, you know? And we talked about that last time. Let's back off on the selling thing. And so other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, the jobs will come and I'd rather sit around and do nothing than to do a bad job with a bad client that doesn't appreciate me because, you know, my mental health is going to go down and that's worth more than whatever money to come in. Good input. Thank you. Yeah. Chris, I, this is Carrie. I liked what you told me the other night too, to start thinking like you're a million dollar designer. Does that make yes. sense to help with that mind shift on that as well? To start thinking of yourself as a million dollar designer? Mm hmm How did that help you, Carrie? Um, it helps. I'm on my kitchen table, right? I mean, I'm bootstrapping the heck out of it. Um, I don't have a fancy office, um, but it, it helps. It, it helps make that mind shift of I'm, I am good at this. I am a million dollar designer. Um, and kind of taking myself out of, you know, I, I'm sitting here at the kitchen table with a lamp for lighting, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, yeah, it just kind of helps that it, it helps that mind shift a little bit. So why are we sitting there looking at others and the things that we have, like is it the car we drive, the home we live in, the, the way our site looks, the work that we've done in the past that determine our value? And I'd say, no, it's what you are able to do. I know I'm valuable inside. And so there's a mindset that you have to change. It's not all these other things. And I know that if we're not confident, if we're not rock solid, we start looking at these kind of external ways of validating ourselves. And unfortunately, those things come and go all the time. And so your own self-worth changes all the time. So I don't know if that's a long-winded way of talking about the million-dollar designer mentality, but you are that's what you say you are. You have to start believing that. Yeah, I think that's that's perfect way to do it because it's you know the the mind shift that I had to do was it's not about the office it's not about the fancy equipment it's about the results I get so right. um yeah so it, it when we had that conversation it really helped so yeah. it, it kind of who cares that, who cares you know, don't right. sell your services don't even right. sell your process mm -hmm. sell who you are this is what I do this is who I am I'm honest I'm straightforward I'm transparent if I can't help you, I'll tell you I can't help you. I'm not going to BS you. I'm a straight shooter. Maybe I'm not the most most emotional, warm guy. I know that about myself. If you like that, hire somebody else. I'll just tell you the truth. That's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this segment from the Archives of the Future Pro Group. In case you didn't know, the Pro Group is a community of diverse creatives, including designers, artists, developers, brand strategists, and architects from all over the world. Some of the benefits of being a member include bi-monthly coaching calls with Chris, 
office hours, which are monthly calls with subject matter experts to help you with things like writing, business development, mindset, and strategy. Real and virtual meetups, breakout rooms, speed dating, and open tables. Exclusive access to over 170 pro calls, mentorship, friendship, accountability, and a sense of belonging. Check the description below to find out more. But don't take my word for it. Here's a pro member to share their experience. Being a part of the group also helped me to transition out of my first production company into something that is way more fulfilling for me. And since we started this business, our very first job, um, we got at $25,000, which is actually five times more than what we usually would charge for work. Um, but it's being a part of this group and constantly being um, accountable to the growth and to the worth that I know is in myself. Like, that's what's helped me to definitely improve and to go forward um, in my business. So if you're interested, check out thefuture.com slash pro group. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.